So hi Priyanka, welcome to the Pro Gazette. So, what according to you is sustainable architecture? Uh, sustainable. If you see the literal meaning of the word, it starts with stopping mm-hmm. and using carefully. So, sustainable right would be so whatever you are taking from the earth, if you could just not destroy it in the process and use the things mindfully, that would be sustainability. and uh, adding to the sustainable scenario is climate control yes. adding to the sustainable scenario is net zero building on the bigger picture so these are all small small steps leading to one common thing that we are living on this planet and we should try to conserve it preserve it and use it in the most mindful manner yeah because of course we have needs we are humans yes. we will be uh, using things we will be eating we will be living in homes we need shelter but you use it in a way that you do not damage your resources to an extent that you cannot go back yes okay. that is that would be the true sense of sustainability uh with the growing times and the age and time we are in we see buildings around us only Everywhere. buildings around yes. us and architecture is and in that sense like an architecture around us yes uh, so for for uh, future i think sustainable architecture is going to play a major role uh, hmm. in making sure that nature is not harmed yes so what are the basic steps that people who have already built their homes or their buildings can take mm-hmm. and people who will now be doing so hmm. can make sure that that happens and they are not harming the nature um, hmm. as much as they were okay. so um, as the architects call it built environment okay so a uh, built environment comes with your landscape it comes with your community who's using that built environment so first thing first if we can imbibe if we can have certain set of values of certain set of pointers where a community guidelines can be given that okay you have to use electricity in this manner or use the acs that are more uh, efficient okay then those guidelines will help you now in built environment uh, the most common thing is for homes mm. so that's where a person starts thinking mm. okay that is one part of the space that i'm going to be in so uh, while designing homes if people are designing houses one thing only one thing if you took could take care of that sun rises in east and sets in west yeah. that is universal truth that is not going to change and the solar heat and light are the biggest fo- factors of energy usage that yeah. happens in the house yeah so if you create your shell in a way that you protect yourself from the temperature but you get the light in right way yeah for that again if you go to indian science of vastu yeah. that is basically solar science oh okay. so if you have a stand alone house use vastu principles properly your house would become energy efficient okay get light into the center of your house it will become better make a shell so that you protect your house from the right angles mm-hmm. so in summers you have your <clears throat> protection in winters you have verandas and terraces where you can sit and take the sun yeah use it intelligently and create that kind of envelope and in addition to it now we have Uh, so there is IGBC, Griha, all this. They have given you pointers to take care of design while designing your mm-hmm. place. Use waste materials if you can. Use materials that very local and nearby, so that you are not putting energy you into getting get that it. stuff. Yes. You are getting less carbon emissions. Furniture from Italy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't do that. Use things that are near you. अगर आपके पास अमरूद उग रहा है तो अमरूद खाओ. That would be easier. Don't import avocados. <laughs> yes, and. Uh, at the same time right now we as architects as the sustainability is the buzzword which we were yeah. talking about we are of course this opportunity is created by us only by harming the environment mm. but still now there's an opportunity to experiment mm. with materials yeah. to experiment with the language of building <clears throat> so it becomes more intelligent okay we can do that there are programs so then we go for the bigger structures that mm. architects are building here we can employ all those techniques we can work with sustainability experts and create buildings that generate their own energy and so they that, uh, <laughs> so 
you're talking about using waste materials and things that are around us yes so are those waste materials have the same tensile strength or are as effective as the originals or yes. people yes. the materials so, that we import yes so the people are making bricks out of the stone sludge we are in udaipur so much stone quarrying is happening yeah bahut sara sludge pada rehta hai you must have seen lakes of white powder yes. dust <coughs> we are using them to do plaster of our buildings okay we are doing in resorts Huh. But that same thing can be used. It's easily available to us, yeah. and it is good. उसके ऊपर पेंट भी नहीं करना पड़ता है. झिक्की का काम करवाते हैं हम लोग. So use those things. If you could use lime wash, if you could use non uh, carcinogenic paints in your house, that will help. Small okay. small steps will help. If you want to do everything, give time to it. Yeah. Then you can do everything. But even if you don't have time, you can do two two three things in your own home. Hmm. which are more sustainable than yesterday yeah and um kitna cost effective hota because a lot of people think ki yaar ye jo sari cheeze sustainability ke naam pe ya fir nature ke naam pe people are green building green building ke naam pe <laughs> log uh, sell kar rahe hain ya spend kar rahe hain hmm. those are uh, very heavy on pockets and uh, common men cannot afford it and that is why they go for something that is more cheaper and at the same time harms the nature more hmm. so How cost-effective is that, and how easy it is for common man? Because अपनी जितनी population है, common man अगर use कर पाएगा, yes. that is when it is more, that effective, right? So uh, for that, so sustainability money-wise, uh, the research and the mind that goes into it will have some cost, of course, because somebody who is working on it, he will take a fee from you to give you a sustainable home. Yeah. now every building has two type of cost capital cost capex mm-hmm. and operational cost okay if you put a little bit more money in putting that dgu mm-hmm. then your operational cost will reduce okay if you are making a home so wo balance ho jata hai your ac bill will be less mm-hmm. your electricity bill will reduce yes if you make a smaller window in south direction mm-hmm. it is going to impact Hmm. it is is a mind that is required and sometimes the material that is required but overall when we calculate the roi hmm. it is cheaper than making a non sustainable building so it's like basically it's you are investing in the right direction the math has to be done yeah that is the whole thing and um, does the shape of the buildings also hmm. changes when it comes to sustainability everything impacts the shape the size the scale everything will have an impact on how your building is going to perform if you see god created us humne humme kuch kuch dala hai same way if you are creating a building the type of attributes you give to the building will impact its function and that in turn will in impact the sustainability okay uh, also uh, you know a lot of people say that we are not reusing like let's say old furniture or Fisher. old uh, artifacts or whatever because they do not predict class like depict the class mm-hmm. thing and we want to live a lifestyle that gives a certain type mm-hmm. of things so like would you advocate using refurbished furnitures or artifacts or whatever in a way that it also gives adds to your class and mm-hmm. at the same times adds to the nature or would you advocate uh, buy, buying new things like is that an alternative to buying new things reusing so when we talk about sustainability if we can reuse the buildings which are abandoned if we can reuse the spaces which are already created that is best and there is no such thing as not having class in old furniture it is probably more classier than what trash we are making today you go to uh, places old forts like you go to uh, palaknuma palace in hyderabad they have a 100 seater dining table the furniture is as classy as it can be mm-hmm. and the amount of effort that has gone into doing that wood carving you yeah. cannot even imagine it imagine it with machines also <laughs> yeah. so just because you cannot do it that doesn't mean it is not classy refurbishing can come out really well you just have to in fact the material that the the quality of material that was used in the earlier product it was much better than what we are getting to no. use today so i i remember my grandmother used to tell me ki the dining table shisham ke ped ke uski bani hai and i was like okay now when i go and buy 
नहीं मिलेगी प्लस वो इंटू टेन टाइम्स कॉस्ट हो जाए सो आज के टाइम पे इज इट ओके लाइक इज इट नॉट आई वोट से ओके बट इज इट सस्टेनेबल और इज इट अ गुड कॉल टू बाय वुड प्रोडक्ट दैट आर नॉट मेड ऑफ लाइक द गुड ट्रीज बट आर रिफर्बेज एंड आर मेड इन द राइट मैन ऑलवेज अ गुड कॉल टू यूज एनी प्रोडक्ट विच कैन बी यूज विच हेज स्टिल लाइफ लेफ्ट इन इट इट्स ऑलवेज अ गुड आइडिया एंड एज एन आर्किटेक्ट वॉट एडवाइज वुड यू गिव टू पीपल um who have already built their homes the changes that they can make still make to make sure that they are adding to the sustainable nature mm-hmm. and people who will be building homes now uh, just a few things to remember at least if you cannot mm-hmm. go the entire do the entire things just, just remember the few things uh it's so sustainability is more about ideology okay and i have seen people who have curtains drawn in their homes 24 hours they don't even open windows but they are uh apt to turning on the light yeah so change that mm-hmm. open the curtains open the windows every morning let the air come in mm-hmm. use less of lighting use task lighting in your home also it doesn't need to be diwali every day you can use task lighting your counter top can have different lighting your study table can have different lighting din ko din rakho raat ko raat rakho you can do that don't get used too much to ac 18 degree centigrade we are from rajasthan live on 30 degree centigrade put your ac to 28 degrees yeah i fight with my son every night because i want it 28 and he doesn't but he will learn yeah and probably he might not but still i will try <laughs> and keep trying so even if you have a home built see if you could add screens जाली जो हमारे यहाँ होती है यू कैन एड दैट इफ यू आर गेटिंग एक्सेस लाइट फ्रॉम सम डायरेक्शन यू कैन हैव ग्रीन वॉल्स टू क्रिएट द माइक्रो क्लाइमेट वेयर प्लांट्स विल गिव ऑक्सीजन टू योर प्लेस यू कैन हैव इंडोर प्लांट्स यू कैन यूज पेंट दैट आर नॉन कार्स सो मेनी थिंग्स इट्स एंडलेस इवन इफ द हाउस इज एवरी थिंग कैन बी डन एंड वन थिंग अबाउट थर्ड स्पेस दैट यू थिंक इज लाइक top notch when it comes to sustainable architecture like i know they have no ac in the building and it's self cooling and self heating so something that you think is like apart from the rest it's uh, it's not the space it's the ideology that i would say is commendable to uh, firstly think of a space where the whole community can come together and think towards a brighter future this is not a place where you are you know just killing time yes you are advocating for a future you are advocating for leaving a better future you are not just selfish to think about yourself so the ideology of having a place which can inspire you to think in the right direction yeah. that's what matters and of course they have made it brilliantly that's also good <laughs> that's amazing So thank you so much Priyanka for taking the time out thank and you. giving us insights about what should be done. Uh it was pleasure having you. Thank you. Same here. Nice conversation. Thank you. <laughs> Always. <laughs>